Come along as we explore ocean shores after getting more snowfall than ocean shores has seen in quite a while. The weather in ocean shores usually stays in the 40s during the winter months, but this year has been unusual. Right now, we are driving north on Mount Olympus Avenue. Through here, you are sure to see groups of deer grazing on the grass or bushes. It's important to drive slow around ocean shores because the deer can walk on the street and take you by surprise. Mount Olympus is a residential road that goes right along the western side of Duck Lake. This view is from the dock at Bill Ellis Park. Looking out at Duck Lake, you can usually see boats, people fishing, and even water skiers in the summer months. We are continuing our drive north on Mount Olympus. This is a great neighborhood to move to if you have elementary school aged children because Ocean Shores Elementary is right down the street. Time to slow down. This elementary school is pre-K through fifth grade and serves all of Ocean Shores with approximately 300 students attending and a student to teacher ratio of about 15 to one. My own child attends this school and we've had a great experience so far. We are now traveling north on Ocean Shores Main Street, Point Brown Avenue. Point Brown runs all the way down Ocean Shores and will take us into the main town. IGA on the right is the town's main grocery store. This road leading out of Ocean Shores has many of our favorite restaurants, including Ocean Shores Bistro, The Lighthouse, Homeport, and my kids' favorite, McDonald's. Also ahead is Playtime Family Fun, which has go-karts and bumper cars and affordable mopeds and scooter rentals up on the left-hand side. We are now driving south at Point Brown Avenue towards Damon Point. Going further south on Point Brown are more neighborhoods that will allow zoning for multifamily homes and commercial. Many people buy property in Ocean Shores hoping to use it as an Airbnb, but that's only allowed in commercial zoned areas. Here we are at one of our favorite beaches, Damon Point. With four miles of beach, Damon Point is one of the best areas to hike and see wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. To see what it looks like in the summer, watch our video on Damon Point linked here. We are now heading west on Marine View Drive. Along this area, you will see many more cabin-style nightly rentals, great for families. On our right, we are approaching a popular option, Collins Inn and Seaside Cottages. The cottages are family-friendly and the inn is for adults only. We are heading in the direction of the North Jetty neighborhood. Ocean Shores is a popular place to bring your family, mostly in the summer but many families like to get away to their vacation homes, even in the winter time. Many people purchase homes in Ocean Shores to use as a vacation property. Seattle is just about a three hour drive, making it easy for people to drive as often as once or twice a month to get away from the city for a weekend. On our right, you can see two out of the many new construction homes being built. There's a huge demand for new builds in this area. So much so that builders have been behind since COVID and usually when a new construction home comes on the market, it's pending in just a few days. We are now traveling south on Ocean Shores Boulevard into the North Jetty neighborhood. This is a popular spot for tourists because the hotels on the right are ocean facing and have amazing views. A popular hotel in this area is Sweet Caroline Inn, which is made up of five condos with full kitchens that sit high above the dunes with unobstructed views of the Pacific. Here in the North Jetty neighborhood, you'll find many vacant lots ready to build on. You can also purchase a vacant lot to bring your RV and camp on up to 90 days out of the year. Most of these lots come with sewer and power in the street ready to hook up. And because it's closer to the ocean, this side of the shores gets the most wind and makes it popular for people that like to storm watch in the fall and winter months. 
To see the North Jetty in the summer, watch video number two in our Ocean Shores Beach series, linked above. Here we are at the North Jetty Beach, located on the southern end of Ocean Shores. This beach is not accessible to motor vehicles, so don't make the mistake of driving your car onto it. As I was walking up, I saw tire tracks, and sure enough, there was a car parked on the beach, which is okay in the main beach, but not this one. People love bringing their dogs to this beach because it's an off-leash beach, unlike the other beaches where they require your dogs to be on a leash. But don't let them venture out too far into the water. The waves can be unpredictable. By the way, if you're liking our video, help us out by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. The jetty took nine years to complete and was finished in 1916. Covered in snow, it looks so majestic compared to Damon Point where there wasn't much snow on the sand. We love coming out here in the summer and finding seashells, neat rocks, and sand dollars. And if you're lucky, you might even spot some harbor seals. We are now heading into Oyet Bay Seaside Village. Oyet Bay is located on the edge of Oyet Bay Wildlife Reserve at the south end of Ocean Shores. The Oyet Bay Wildlife Reserve sits on 683 acres and is one of four places in Washington State where you can spot a snowy plover, a rare beach bird. Upon availability, you can purchase a two, three, or four bedroom cottage, use it as a vacation home, and rent it out when not in use and let the property management team take care of the details. These properties are perfect if you want to be close to the beach, but away from all the chaos of the main beach and large hotels. Oyet Bay is a resort of condos and cottages with on-site amenities, including our favorite restaurant coming up on the right-hand side, Oyet Grill. We love taking our out-of-town guests here for a nice dinner or brunch. Other amenities include free bicycle usage, a game area including a swing set and climbing wall, bocce ball, horseshoe pits, giant chess set, and a beach volleyball area out by the fire pit. There is also a market and bakery coming up on our right hand side that has great coffee from Ocean Beach Roasters and the most delicious fresh baked pastries. Heading back the opposite way, we are making our way back around to Damon Point. On this side, you can see the homes and nightly rental cottages on the waterfront. There are a few people out walking around in the snow and enjoying weather that we hardly ever see around here. There's definitely no shortage of waterfront properties being that Ocean Shores is on a peninsula and surrounded by water on three sides, not to mention the many lakes and canals throughout. There are hardly any people out on Damon Point today, but during the summer, the parking lot will be full of cars. On our right hand side is the Coastal Interpretive Center where you can learn all about the natural and cultural history of Washington's Pacific Coast. And as we turn left, we are back on Mount Olympus and have come full circle. We hope that you enjoy touring this part of Ocean Shores and we'll see you in the next video.